The transformer architecture was developed by researchers at Google that is effective at natural language processing due to multi-head attention and positional encoding. And here is that architecture. It comes from that white paper, attention is all you need, because that is the special mechanism that it is utilizing to pull off the feats that it is doing. Um, I try to remember what came before it. It was like CNNs and RNNs, so convolutional uh, neural networks and uh, recurrence neural networks. And recurrence neural networks could kind of do what transformers do, um, but they just had an issue with scaling and being able to remember everything that they were looking at. And so this architecture found a way to do that, and that was with positional encoding and multi-head attention. How important is it to know this architecture? Um, it's good. It's nice to know so you get a bit of an experience in terms of what's going on there. But to be honest, working with um, LLMs constantly, it's just like you kind of forget about this. And so it doesn't really inform any of your workflows or decisions. I guess it's just more like by looking at this, uh, you have more confidence at reading white papers, right? And, and looking at some of the stuff of these architectures. So that's why we're looking at it. But Transformer architectures are made up of two components or two parts. We have an encoder and that's, you get my pen tool out here. So it's very clear what we're looking at, but it's this thing here, right? So that is uh, our encoder. I'm just gonna erase that there. And so you can get the idea that the one on the right is gonna be our decoder. But let's read about what the encoder is. So it reads and understands the input text. It's like a smart system that goes through everything it's been taught and picks up on the meanings of words and how they're used in different contexts. So that's the high level. And then the decoder, based on what the encoder has learned, this part generates new pieces of text. It's like a skilled writer that makes up sentences that flow well and make sense. And uh, as far as I understand that, once you're, uh, you put your data in here, it comes through here, right? Uh, and it has to be already embedded. And then once it goes through here, it's, uh, it's going to output uh, that, um, that stuff and it's gonna go into here. And then each word, as it iterates through, it's gonna go through here. Each word's gonna go here. It's going to produce your sentence with the next word. And then it's gonna go all the way down here and then add the next word and then feed all of this back in and again and again and again. So it's just gonna keep looping uh, until it runs out of um, ability to write or it decides to stop. Um, and there are very specific components that we're gonna look at, the multi-head attention in the positional coding. So we didn't really describe them here, but there they are, and you'll see them up close here in just a moment, okay?